All child removals have always, and still require, a thorough case review and approval by the investigator's supervisor prior to DCS making a removal decision. When a child is removed from their home, DCS has to file a petition with the juvenile court outlining the maltreatment that has occurred and why it is necessary for DCS to take custody of the child. I assume that this is the court process Don and Candace attended yesterday. DCS does not take the removal of a child lightly and will usually try to work with parents to find some way to keep families together. However, in situations where abuse is occurring in the home, DCS may act if the agency feels there is no other option to try to keep a child safe. There are of course many other reasons as to why kids are removed. Both Donald Wells and Candace Bly appeared in juvenile court around 1 p.m. earlier this afternoon in Hawkins County. After that appearance, I spoke with them outside where they both confirmed to me that their children were taken by the Department of Children's Services late last week. After that appearance, Summer's parents were emotional and declined to speak with me on camera. I did ask if they knew why their older children were removed from the home, and Candace told me that she would rather not say and wanted to be clear that Summer's disappearance and DCS's involvement with her other children are separate situations. She also told me that they now have a lawyer but would not share that lawyer's information. Don Wells told me that his older children are safer where they are now but he did not elaborate or specify how. Due to this case involving minors and per Hawkins County's Justice Center's policy, I was not allowed to be in the courtroom or even take a phone or camera inside the lobby. They both walked into the center just a few minutes before their hearing and upon arrival they were escorted into a different courtroom away from the lobby from where everyone else was sitting. Right at 1 p.m., an officer came to get them to go into the juvenile courtroom. They left the annex separately but arrived and left together in the same vehicle. Again, due to this situation involving minors, the juvenile court office could not provide any information or paperwork. I also checked with the clerk's office who was over circuit sessions and criminal court to see if there was any new paperwork filed for either of them and was told that there was nothing new. But back here at Borden Park in Kingsport, another prayer circle for their daughter will be held in about an hour, which marks the sixth week since she was last seen. Live in Kingsport, Ansley Daniel, News Channel.